Hey, I'm Sean O'Neill from the AV Club. We're here at Saved by the Max, the pop-up recreation of the Max from the famous 90s TV show Saved by the Bell. We have a very special guest with us here today, Dennis Haskins. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. How crazy is this? I mean, the tabletops are the same, the chairs are the same. It's exactly the same. I don't know how they did it, but it's pretty darn amazing. Yeah. Well, today we're going to uh, play a little Saved by the Bell trivia with you. The principal has become the student. We'll see I'd how say. I do. Yeah. We're going to start off with some easy ones then. Okay. All right. First one is uh, Bayside had a rival. What was the name of Bayside's rival? Valley. That's right. You got one. In season two, Casey Kasem hosted a dance contest yeah. at the Max. Screech and Lisa won that contest with an unusual dance. What was the name of that dance? Well, I, I remember because yesterday, Derek, who who was one of the owners here, was had crutches and he was practicing the sprain. The sprain. So it's the sprain. Yeah, good job. I All know, right. crazy, right? Hey, do you remember the sweaters we were wearing in that episode with Casey? I was, oh my God. I do. I, well, I think Casey Kasem wore those sweaters pretty much throughout his career. Yeah, he did. Yeah. In his student days, Mr. Belding was a DJ. Yeah. What was uh, what was his DJ name? The Big Bopper, yeah. because Mr. Belding really was kind of like Zach when he was in high school. And that's one of the reasons that he watches over Zach and also knows what he's about to do. Anyway. Yeah, he called him the son I never had, right? Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. And then he had a son, and what did he name him? Yeah, you're asking me. Yeah. He named him Zach. Yes, he yeah. oh, They're good for yeah, you, you got right. one. That's one yeah. for you. A famous actor came to Bayside to film an anti-drug PSA. What was the name? of the drug that needlessly ruined so many people's lives. It was Johnny Dakota, mm. and he had a joint with him, so a marijuana. Marijuana, a that's marijuana right, cigarette. that's right. Marijuana destroys so many lives. Okay. Mr. Belding had a brother. What was oh. his brother's name? Well, let me think. Rod. That's right. Get out of my school, Rod. Because <laughs> he was going to dump the kids for a flight attendant. Come on. Rod, Dick, do you guys really think you're going to get away with that? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you a point on that one. Before Saved by the Bell, there was Good Morning, Miss Bliss. Yes. And in the pilot episode, Mr. Belding was played by a different actor and had a different first name. Now wait, many people don't know this, mm. but there was a pilot episode done two years before mm. we did Good Morning, Miss Bliss, but I know that in the episode was Jaleel White, Brian Austin Green, and Jonathan, Jonathan Brandis. Yeah. They were the Zack Screech and Slater, and, and it didn't work. So you just never know what chemistry is going to be. But yeah, there was an earlier Mr. Belding. What they call him? His name is Gerald. 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 Well, Belding. no wonder it didn't work. Yeah. What better to go with Dick Belding? Come on, Richie, Big Bopper. Come on. Did you murder Gerald Belding and assume his identity? I thought we weren't going to talk about that. All right, I'm going to give you a point on that one. Screech had a robot. What was the name of that robot? Oh, I know this one because. They named it after the NBC executive that watched over our show. But we were right next to Johnny Carson at Tonight Show. I, we shared the same hallway, mm. and they did every, every, they taped every day. We were rehearsing. It was an actual robot that they had electronics with. So Johnny Carson was doing a Lincoln sketch with an exploding hat, the big stovepipe hat, mm. and our electronics were setting off the stovepipe hat, and they only had 60 seconds to get ready for him. They couldn't figure out what's going on. They said, there's a kid's show with a robot, so that's... But the robot's name was Kevin. Kevin, that's correct. Follow-up question. Why did Screech have a robot? Because he was Screech? I don't know why he have a robot. Why would you design a robot with that kind of artificial intelligence just to hang out in Screech's bedroom? Why would you do that, Sean? <laughs> I didn't do I, it. I, you I guys think, did. I'm I asking you. I think it's interesting that this means a lot to you, and I think we should I've, talk about this on, like, on a couch somewhere. It's because bugged it's me for clearly, decades. It's <laughs> clearly showing me that there's some issues for you with this kind of robot in his room thing. It's cruel, I think it's cruel to create this robot that has its sentience and it just hangs out in Screech's bedroom and then he just gets rid of it and it disappears. Okay. You're gonna be okay. All right, all right. You're gonna be okay. All right, thanks Dennis. All right, I'll, we'll just move on. I'll go ahead and give you a point on that one. What was Jesse Spano face famously addicted to? No dose, caffeine pills. The answer is attention. She's addicted to uh, attention. Oh, attention? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's I think it's pretty attention. obvious to anybody watching the show that she's addicted to attention. Here's a tough one. What happened to Tori? There's two Tories. Tori Spelling, who played Vi Viola no, Bickerstaff. I'm talking about Tori. Well, you said Tori. I'm talking about Tori. So here's the deal. Our deals were up. They decided to do 10 more episodes to make it be 100 total for the package for syndication. Hmm. And everybody's deal was up. And we just, some of us said, OK, we'll do 10 more. It was pilot season, so Elizabeth and Tiffany wanted to go on and do pilots. Tiffany ended up going to 902 and eventually. We did the graduation episode, and then we did 10 more episodes with Tori, the biker chick, who parked in Zach's space and all that stuff, just to get the other 10. So it was Lark and I and Mario and Dustin, and then uh, Leanna Creel, who was one of three triplets, who played in the triplets did Parent Trap, which goes back to Haley Mills, which goes back to 90 Degrees from Mr. Bell. It's all a complex web, but I know what happened to Tori? 
she came in. I don't know where she went. She, she worked on the mechanic. What happened to Tori, Mr. You Belding? Know, you know what happened? Tori ran off with Kevin the robot. That's a sad story. But Took I guess got, actually got Kevin, Kevin out of the room with Screech, and they're happily ever after. She was never mentioned again, though. Because she went off with a robot, dude. You want yeah, to talk about true. this stuff? All right. We all know Zach, Lisa, Kelly, Jesse, Slater, Screech. Since you're the principal, give me one student's name besides those people. There was Crush. There was, there was Bruiser, there were all these jocks that came through, so you don't even know these, do you? I have them all right here. There was Mr. Dewey. There was no, that's Mr. a teacher. Actually, and here's the truth, hmm. when we started doing the show, we had all these extras on the show, atmosphere, and I thought Mr. Belding would actually know all the students, so I took time to learn everybody's name. So uh, Ralph was one, there was a bunch. You don't know these, because I did 240 <laughs> episodes, dude. You're just going through one or two and picking out a couple. I mean, I've got like- Go ahead, give me a couple. Christy. Violet, Heather, Ginger. Well, Violet Bickerstaff already said that a long time ago. We talked about Tori Spelling. Fair enough. You didn't say her name. Well, I said Tori I'll, was Violet Bickerstaff. <laughs> I'll give you Violet. Roll the tape. Play the tape. Back. I'll give you Violet. You know what, Sean? My office. Nah. <laughs>